is uh, OKK Emmanuel Chidibe. I'm from Abagana, Jikoku local government area, Anambra State, Nigeria. And uh, what I I'm, I'm I'm 20 of age, and what I have here is what I call waste to wealth machine, which helps to transform the waste products in the environment, like nylon, plastics, as you can all can see here. Then you can transform it into this finished product here. We have here. This is what I call this with here. Then this is very friendly flammable. Is a is a is a petroleum product. Then after the chain now. My main goal is that to stop, uh, to maintain environmental sustainability and uh, to encourage the young uh, students towards research and a uh, solution to problems. So what I have here is what I call waste to wealth machine. It helps to make use of the raw material in the environment like such a from this type. Then uh, all these uh, hydrocarbons by products. So this machine now helps to transform them into finished products like well like these days over here like this kerosene and this uh, interlocking stone this plastic interlocking stone which is like a marble and the bricks these are uh, this is this is these are these are what these are these are these are fuel yeah these are okay fuel. and this is uh kerosene and that's kerosene yeah that's okay. kerosene and this is marble bricks and that's a brick. Yeah, okay. this is bricks. It's a bricks. So your product is called Waste, Waste to Wealth, Wealth Mission. Mission. Yes. And you take products such as this. Yes. Such like this. And you and create petroleum. Petroleum. And, and kerosene bricks. products. Yes. And oh. bricks. And bricks. And how does it do that? Okay. This is the production sector. Here is what I call my reactor. This is your reactor? Yeah, this is my reactor here. And you put the uh, yeah, I my plastic garbage products yes, in my into reactor. your reactor. Yes. So, so any kind of plastic can, can go in there, right? Yeah. yeah. So plastic waste that's normally on the street and, yes. and littering the, our, our environment can, can be recycled. Yeah. After you stuff your plastic into the container, uh, I, will, I will close it. You'll close it? Yeah, to ensure airtight, to ensure that a gas won't be uh, escaping because the gas is highly inflammable. Okay. It can cause a, a fire outbreak. So I'll, uh, I'll close it with my uh, closing this to, uh, to make sure that the gas won't escape during my heating. Okay, now I'm sealing uh, the mouth. I'm, I'm still tipping the mouth to, to ensure uh, airtight to avoid uh, the gas is, uh, escaping. I'm locking it very tight because the gas is highly inflammable. Okay. So to avoid fire break out. And you got a tool that you lock it with. Mm -hmm. Alright, you store animal waste products into this container yeah, into this for container. 21 days. Yes. And the byproduct is methane. methane. Yes. And then what happens? And I, I store the methane here. It's methane gas. Here. Methane gas goes yeah. in that container there. Yeah. All right. So that's what I, I'm using to heat. And that's what you use for heat. Yes. Okay. Great. Now you ready to start the machine? Yeah. Go ahead. So I own my gas. On the banana, okay. my gas. Mm -hmm. Then I play my money. Now the heating process has started. Okay, you started the uh, reactor by yeah. lighting the methane gas. Yeah. How long does the process take? Okay, the process takes up to 40 to 15 minutes, maximum 15 minutes. Then here will be your, your diesel. The, the industrial process has begun. Mm -hmm. That is, 
uh, at the beginning, I filled in here with my waste. Mm -hmm. So in, in this reactor, it's where I, I have my waste. Mm -hmm. So I applied my gas mm -hmm. through my um, uh, methane gas, which I, I produced okay. myself. Mm -hmm. So now the heating process has begun. Then it will, it will last up to uh, 50 minutes for the diesel to come out. Then when the diesel comes out here, it will be very hot. Mm -hmm. So um, this water here, this this in here is where I, is where I have my water inlet. And here is where I have my water outlet. Mm -hmm. So in here, the water enters here because here is when the gas comes out, it will be in a gaseous form. Mm -hmm. So here helps it to convert it to liquid, which will be dropping inside in, the, in this filtrate as a liquid product. So what what that goes in here cools the gas, which is very hot, because if if the gas is very hot, and uh, without this rebel condenser, my product will contain FIV sense in chemistry. It will contain what we call FIV sense. So now that's the aid of this my condenser, which helps the product you know, to be in a normal state, so that the gas when the gas comes out, the water inlet here will cool the gas, the, 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 the gas, and the, and takes the water out uh, to the chamber. Then when the water comes out, it enters through here, in here. Uh, this is what we call uh, a radiator. You know, in in, in a in a vehicle, radiator helps to cool the engine. So now the water the water that goes in here will be cooled with the aid of this fan, this fan here. You got a fan there? Yeah, there's a fan mm -hmm. here. Mm -hmm. So now, when the water is being cooled, it goes back to the gallon where it, it stored uh, initially, then it goes up again. That's a, it's a kind of recycling system. Mm. So that's how it works. And again, now the gas, the product has been applied heat. So when it comes to that uh, maximum time, which I expect my product to come out, the machine triggers an alarm. The alarm is actually telling me that the product is coming out so for me to take a safety precaution of it because the gas is flammable so you have to take a safety precaution of it to avoid fire breakout so that's the function of the alarm the alarm is connected to a sensor a gaseous sensor that the sensor helps to dictate when a gas is coming out that's the, that's the, the aim of the alarm in here I have what I call my sensor is a gaseous sensor that is helped to dictate any gaseous substance like uh, in this machine now where I am producing a gaseous uh, product that is diesel that is highly fl in inflammable so that's why I apply my sensor so that whenever the product is coming out it triggers an alarm in the form of wow 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 which is actually telling the engineer or the factory uh, uh, producer that the gaseous substance is coming out come and take a safety precaution of it that's the function of the sensor here okay I see the fan yeah, this fan here uh -huh. cools the radiator and what does that do? This fan helps to cool in the layer. Now when this water comes out now, this hot water mm -hmm. comes out, it goes in, in, in the radiator in this uh, place. Mm -hmm. Then when this fan now cools the water, mm -hmm. uh, so the water that goes back to the gallon where it, it belongs, th then pumps again, then it's a kind of recycling system. Okay. Yeah, that's the function of it. Now how does it make the brick? Okay. You know, after the experiment, mm -hmm. I have what we call a residue in chemistry. In chemistry, a residue is a byproduct, a waste product that remains after a, a very big experiment has been done. Mm -hmm. So, through it my chamber here, through this process, the product will move when I open the outlet here. Mm -hmm. the, product, the, waste, the residue will now move in, in this mixing chamber in here. Okay. After the experiment, my uh, residue, that is a waste product mm -hmm. that remains, mm -hmm. will now move through this chamber mm -hmm. and goes in here. Mm -hmm. Goes in here. This is my mixing uh, process. I press my remote. Here, is a, here we start mixing mm -hmm. the, the residue with a fine sand. Then after that, I'll, it, it will be pour, it, it will be poured into this uh, into this mechanism. When it, when it dries, it's a brick. Yeah, when it dries, it's separate into mm -hmm. bricks. Mm -hmm. It's diesel. Mm -hmm. It's flammable. So I want to do the flammability of the diesel. Got it. Because uh, it is a hydrocarbon product. That's why it is flammable like this. Now look at it.
what's your goal, your ultimate goal at this point? Okay now, you know, I am a young boy of vision and uh, when I was 10 of age, I started my innovation work. Mm -hmm. I have several innovation. My first innovation, I made a generator that powers with water that mm -hmm. can uh, produce electricity. Mm -hmm. So this is the last innovation that I made of converting waste into diesel. This is my last innovation of commanding waste into diesel mm -hmm. and bricks and bricks. So my main aim is to go further with my engineering field and do better in this engineering field because with this my skill, I know that when I go to the uh, engineering, I will do more better and I'll make the world a safe place and a conducive environment to breathe. <laughs> Oh, <laughs>